uh, Abdul Rahim, Abdul Rahim, you sound like a nice guy. Do you like to call me? Do you like to call me and prove to me what you are saying, guys? What do you think? Abdul Rahim saying he is a Muslim. He said Islam teach him to respect other uh, religions. I say this is absolutely false. However, Mr. Abdul Rahim. I will be happy to have your life with me. Do you like to call me? Do you like to call me? And I will listen to you. If you can prove what you say, I will apologize from you in front of everybody. What do you think? Do you like to call me? What do you think? This is my Skype account, let me post it for you. And I will be happy to have you. If you can prove what you said, otherwise I accuse you to be a lying. You are trying to deceive us. You notice that we do not know much about the religion. And because I don't speak Arabic, because I'm German, so you said to yourself, oh, okay, he's a German, you know, and those German just drink beer, and they will not notice that when we say takbir, we mean jihad, they think we are talking about beer. So what about you call me and prove me wrong? Or just because I'm from Germany in China, you are taking advantage of my ignorance. Are you going to call me? See, this is what you do. You see somebody here is from Brazil in Germany, you know, if I'm coming from the Amazon River in Indonesia, you say to him, whatever, you know, he don't know what he's talking about. We fold them, we lie to them, and then boom, boom, like, you know, yeah, and uh, Sheikh Uthman, he take the wife of his brother, and that's it. Why you don't call me? You can swear to you, just will not, you will not mock Allah or his prophet. I do not know, I, I never mock Allah. Allah mock himself. What's wrong with you? Are you afraid? Are you afraid that your God Allah cannot protect himself? I mean, what's wrong with you? See, you are taking advantage because I'm very nice. And you know, like uh, uh, the principal of my school, when I was in, uh, you know, teenage last year, he said that you are the most uh, like nice student in the school. He said that to me, you know, because I was like in the top of him and I have like a knife in my hand and he said I swear you are the nicest in the school you know and, oh, well, I'm just joking that's not true so call me what's wrong with you what are you afraid about what do you mean mock Allah mock you know I will not talk you talk call me and tell me how Islam teach you to respect other religion I want to hear it Okay, okay, I'm exaggerating. It was not last year when I was teenage. Not it was like a year and six months. Guys, come on, take it easy. I mean, you know, Muhammad he took a donkey, he fly to the seven sky, and nobody saw. I mean, why you go in details too much? Just let it go. Last year, last year. Okay, make it two years. Are you happy now? Even though it's not even two years, I think it was like a year and nine months. Do you like to call me Abu Abdul Rahim? Your God will be with you. It doesn't matter what you know. Why are you afraid? Don't you don't you trust your God? He will be in your side, and you will explain to them that Islam respect and teach respect to other religion. 
Can you call me a private? Only I take only I take calls from girls only in private. Sorry, I'm very conservative Muslim. I've, only if somebody is like he wanna you know my name is Uthman. So anyone like he have a problem with his wife, you give me the number of the wife. I call her, you know, and then hey uh, brother, you know, you know what will happen. I don't talk to I don't like to talk to guys in private. Why in private? Don't you want to show the people here the truth? Guys, did you watch the video we did yesterday for Uthman? I took it off, but I'm sure it's in many channels already. Go watch it. Uthman is a wonderful guy. You know, turn to be this guy. He's very helpful in the society. The, his friend, he came to him. He have a problem with his wife and they are separated. So he gave the, the number of his wife. Uh, Uthman, he took the wife. I mean, how nice this chick is. Do you want to join us? Abdul Abdul Rahim, last call. If you don't, just let me know. You know? All right. Well, obviously, he, he is afraid to join. But my friend, Mr. Abdul Rahim, you're a prophet. He called the Christians and the Jews and non Muslims pigs, monkeys, the worst of the creatures, uh, donkeys, uh, people of hell, kuffar, animals, filthy, nudges. And you are telling me that your prophet taught your respect to other religions? Are you serious? Did your prophet call non-Muslims najis? And can you tell the people here what najis mean? So this is what the Muhammadan they do. They go around and they give you speeches. Islam teaches respect. Ah, this is why Hamas, they were saying we will kill every Jew. That is an act of respect. In Islam, we respect you by killing you, by raping your wife. Mm. All the apologists are adding to it. Oh, people, they are using my videos now in their video. Okay, that's good. Anyway, by the way, I decided to, <clears throat> I learned from Uthman. So I think I'm going to open a clinic, you know. Like a shrink, shrink, you know. So somebody like he have a problem with his wife, his wife, well, you know, Fatima. I take all, especially if they are young. I, I'm not going to involve, sorry. I don't want to solve a problem between wife and husband if the wife is old. I'm telling you, I have my policy. She has to be beautiful and young and hot. You know, I like spicy food. I mean, ask anyone. I like Chinese food. Not Indian, because that's too, too much spicy. It will kill me, you know. I cannot, uh, like uh, Indian food, I mean, uh, too much. <clears throat> Don't remind me. So, I will open a clinic, you know, uh, like this uh, brother here. Where is his video? Oh, hey, here we go. I mean, uh, beautiful, beautiful, you know. The guy, he have a friend, his name is Othman, and uh, his wife, uh, she is, uh, you know, she, they have a problem with his wife. And, you know, this is what friends for. What friends for? Let us be, let us be honest. Friends is to support each other when they need each other. So this guy, he said to his brother Othman, uh, Othman, I need your help. And the help is coming. 